again, it's Glenn Walford here from FranchiseBuyer.com.au and I'm joined today by Todd McGregor of New York Slice Pizzeria. Todd, how are you going, mate? Good, thanks, Glenn. How are you doing? Excellent, mate. Excellent. Uh, New York Slice, here we go, new, new branding beside there, mate. We've, we've spoken a few times, but um, tell us about um, New York Slice Pizza. Okay, well, we're, uh, we're a 14 year old startup, is the way I like to refer to us. Um, you know, we've been in business for 14 years. Uh, we've made some changes to the brand over time, most recently. Uh, we've been known as a slice shop, so somewhere that sells high quality, New York styled, large slices. Yeah, big slice pizzas, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, and, and the change for us uh, in terms of branding reflects the change in taste in the market, if you like. Um, this movement into the fast casual segment uh, where high quality, low price, but also in a fast casual environment is really what people are asking for. So the big difference in, uh, in the pizza space is that there's two extremes. It's either restaurant quality or it's fast food quality. And where we are is that middle segment, which is that higher ground that people are taking now, which you see in burgers by Grilled and Mexican by Guzman and so on. So you really see that trend happening in, in fast casual type dining? Absolutely. So, you know, we don't believe there's, there's a pizza offering in that space and that's what we're looking to fill. Okay. And what sort of locations are you in? Are you, are you a food court type based thing or are you a single premises? How does that work? Yeah, you know, we're open to all of the above. In fact, you know, food courts lend themselves very well to this um, because everyone's there for the same reason, if you like. Uh, and even now, when you look at a, uh, a Westfield or a vicinity type business, mm. um, they've upped their quality as well. Mm. You know, the fit outs have uh, dramatically They're beautiful. Improved. Some of those centres are beautiful now, aren't they? They really and expensive. Are. <laughs> well, they are, but also, you know, you get what you pay for. Yeah. So, uh, and part of what they're looking to do is to actually attract more and more people to the centre, uh, which means keeping them there longer. And in order to do that, you need a better quality of offering. Mm. So we're at home equally in a food court as what we are on a high street. Mm. And the, the pizza business generally, I mean, the first thing that comes to my mind is there seems to be a hell of a lot of pizza in the marketplace. Yep. Um, what, what's the market generally, as you said, you're adding there every day. So what do sure. you see? Well, it's, it's, a, it's a big space for starters, so that's the first thing. So it's, it's a $3.6 billion business in Australia, so, and it's growing at 3%. So pizza is a staple. It's part of people's you know, weekly life now. Um, and interestingly, out of that $3.6 billion, the top four pizza companies in Australia actually have less than one third market share. So by and large, to the tune of $2.4 billion, people buy their pizza from outside of the big so there's a lot of independents and all sorts exactly. of stuff in supermarkets and everything. Well, yeah, no, that doesn't include supermarkets. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, yeah. So th this is uh, you know people buying from the mum and pop pizza store or their local little independent or from mm. chains like us. Mm. Okay. And um, and what sort of locations are you looking at now? And what sort of person? What type of person is a franchisee for you? The person you're looking for? So we've we've done national deals with uh, shopping centre businesses because they have a hole in their market. Mm -hmm. They don't have pizza in their food court or in their um, fast casual uh, dining spaces. And the reason why is because the big four pizza companies, they're delivery based businesses, they don't really fit Doesn't into fit that. their model, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, you know, we're going to leverage that um, because, again, we're ticking a box from them as well. The way they see it is that by having a hole in their offering, they're encouraging people to leave the centre. Mm. So, by filling that hole, they're, uh, they're, they're ticking the boxes for their clientele yep. and it's giving us a, uh, a leg up as well. Okay, and, and are there in particular states you're targeting at the moment or just generally you're a national focus? No, we've got a national focus, okay. Eastern Seaboard predominantly. Um, you know, the big markets are Sydney and Melbourne. Um, you know, we're very well known in Queensland. South East Queensland, we have a very strong uh, growth trajectory there. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got six stores being built right now, another six under development. Um, so You're a busy person. We're very busy. <laughs> we're getting there. Yeah, excellent, mate. Yeah. All right, well, um, thanks very much for joining us at Franchise Buyer again today. You're welcome. Thanks, thanks man. man. That's Glenn again for FranchiseBuyer.com.au, and we'll catch you again soon.